Hello folks, Jared here and welcome back to this and Gallus and today I'm gonna share with you guys a 1642 tune for the Genesis Coupe which I will be giving away in a few days. And the reason for that is basically, uh, I did make a video on this previously but I will be uh, giving this card away to the person who uh, creates the best a uh, cover photo for um, well the trading group that I created a few days ago. The link to that is in the description. There is currently um, a person which uh, I have decided is very likely going to win this car, but um, you know si since I am still using this car in particular for the tuner challenge, I will be advancing to uh, basically the next um, I guess tier of the tuner challenge before I give this car away. I'm very close, but uh, yes, basically. Let me share with you guys this tune, so there you go, it's actually um, a very reliable tune from what I've seen, the Genesis is an amazing car to drive, and um, yeah, it's mostly, um, as it appears, just stage 2 with some, uh, you know, detuning obviously uh, taking place, as this car was actually um, upgraded to 1645 before, there you go. I do actually have a bunch of Genesis and uh, or Genesis is I'm not super sure but yeah this is uh, a card which really has not been used a lot before 7.0 but it's like one of the stars now uh, it's one of the well, obviously no conversions or anything if you have them on your car you can just detune it but yeah this card was a true star before um, I mean after the 7.0 dropped never, never really used before and then it's just like you know it's uh it's actually a rather useful card, and actually you can also put this thing on there, so let's go ahead and do that. Did not take a look at the suspension before, so there you go. You can also put that on there, and then you can also do that, but it's going to lose the speed rating. However, it's going to reduce the weight, so we can still do that. There you go. Okay, fair enough. Other than that, uh, this card is very finely tuned, so let's go ahead go to test drive. Did I actually not uh, check the suspension before, so that... Uh, Usually you cannot actually put that on there without bumping up the rating. There you go. So this card's actually uh, slightly better when you... Um, basically it doesn't matter, like, uh, if you miss the launch you're gonna get very similar times. Sometimes they're even better if you actually miss the launch on purpose. So the release for this is on uh, early second light. It's similar to the uh, Campaign Lotus Savora, in case you guys have driven that, if you have previously completed the campaign, you're gonna have a non-pinkable one. I think I have like three Genesis at the moment, uh, all of them are tuned, and I can show with you guys a 1635 and a 1630 tune for this thing. However, right now, let's go ahead and complete the tuner challenge. Obviously, I've only been using this card for 1640, and it has proven to be rather nice. Um, however, you're gonna have to run consistent 11.0s with this. I actually had a few really cool races with this dude, so uh, let's see what happens. But yeah, if you, um, you know, basically you're gonna have to practice with this car a lot, because um, when I initially ran um, this tier, I was not winning super consistently because I wasn't super used to the car, but after a few rounds, Not the greatest of runs, but uh, considering the... Yeah, okay, we have them. Like, uh, the replays with the Elise, basically, the races are super close. And uh, then the... Well, the Exige, excuse me. Just like, um, limbs past you at the end if you're gonna lose. It's uh, usually a really cl uh, close race, at least it was with this dude. But obviously he had traction loss, so no issues there, even if I didn't run um, a perfect time. There you go. Hmm, we are possibly only two wins away. Uh, obviously the tuner challenge, uh, when you win you get more points than uh, when you lose. So it, that does actually help you, you know, um, stay at the same rating or, you know, improve obviously. Oopsie daisy, that was not good. Okay, so we are now two wins away basically. I'm gonna try to complete it in the course of this video, but... Uh, I'm not super sure, like, obviously it is uh, basically a massive grind to get to the next tier, however, you know, it's uh, it's actually surprisingly fun. So I'm not sure, I think that, uh, I'm not sure whether you get the Mustang for advancing to the next tier here, uh, or whether it's like the one after that, I'm gonna have to check, but okay, it's the same dude again, let's do this. The Civic should be beatable. 
good reaction time we might have him okay on the sixth gear uh, some cars tend to uh, start basically advancing on you however this was basically a perfect run even with missing the launch it was uh, basically pushing this car to its capacity really okay I c um, like lower 11.0s are possible with this thing however this run was basically on point so there you go um, I'm not sure how much points um, actually 23 points it's possible however uh, I'm not sure you get around 20 points basically for winning a race but I also got more than that, so this, this next one, who knows, if we win, we might be super close or we might actually advance. Uh, not 100% sure on that, let's see who we run against. It's a fellow Genesis, okay, let's do this. Good enough, okay. Uh, you're gonna wanna not grind gears, obviously. Yeah, we have him, okay. So obviously the Genesis is super useful because it is a campaign car and that really doesn't matter what you, uh, you know, it, basically the campaign cards are not pinkable, however, actually I'm gonna take that for a thumbnail, um, but yeah, it doesn't really matter because obviously there's no pinks on the tuner challenge, so there you go. Okay, we also get, um, you know, 20% chance at a crate, which is gonna give us some really useful money, holy shit, four items, what the fuck? Okay, I also got uh, two microchips. That's insanely rare. Like, sometimes you get one microchip, however, two. Uh, that's a first for me. Holy shit. I'm lucky to record that. Let's see. Okay, so we are super close. Basically, if we, lo uh, if we lose a race and then we win one, we're still gonna advance. So, let's just try winning outright. How about that? But the Genesis is amazing. So, I'm actually really happy that this car, you know, finally got a place, because it was rather useless before um, the update. Okay, that's a silly car, it should be beatable. Actually hitting the launch this time around with a perfect RP. Let's see, uh, so we're gonna start gaining now, and then it's gonna, like, really slow down. Holy fuck, okay. Holy shit. And the replays on the tuner challenge are basically 100% accurate, which is something I really do have to give props to the developers. Um, but it was actually not such an amazing run, the time was, as you guys can see, um, I did run better at times from missing the launch, but uh, whatever, we advanced to the next tier, there you go. So now I can basically give this card away and I will be doing so when I have proper time. Um, okay, two ECUs, that's good, 20 gems, and uh, uh, a blue, which was previously available in all cards easily, okay. Wait, next tier is, what the fuck, only 150 street card, okay, that should be easily beatable, unless you don't get very many, uh, I mean, unless you really don't get many points for uh, winning a race here, okay. Great, I have a Genesis, we can uh, use that for one more race, just to see how many points we get. I do think that uh, the 1645 is slightly different um, uh, to drive, in the terms of the release is slightly different than uh, the one uh, I was currently running, but uh, let's take a look, I think this is my campaign one. Waiting for the opponent, okay, let's, uh, let's have one more race here. Nope, it's, it seems to be virtually identical, however, the release is slightly different, and if you guys want, I will share my tune for this card as well, 10.5, I think that's a, it's not a horrible time, uh, I did grind one of the gears there, okay, that's cool, actually winning our first race, uh, that doesn't happen too often, okay, holy shit. Tuner's gold crit, okay, I am intrigued to see what this is, only got silver and bronze once before. Okay, an uncommon paint, a few microchips, which are always useful. Gold branch, okay, that's that's gonna come in, holy shit, 8 grand, what the fuck, that's, that's good, okay. So, only 150 steady cap for next year, that. It's nice because there was like 400 that you had to go to um, 
for the previous tier, so that's actually really good. Okay, a Mustang. We could potentially have him, let's see. Good. Did not grind any of the gears, only slightly ticked it there. Uh, it's gonna be close. Come on, come on, fuck! Okay, that was, that could potentially be a tie right there. Okay, we do end up uh, losing that. God damn it, my RT just slightly killed it, but holy fuck, that was close. I just love how fucking, you know, accurate the replays are. Um, okay, let's have an, one last run here. Yeah, the Genesis is one of my favorite cars now, as it should be. It's amazing. So, there you go. Might actually be super useful for getting pinks as well. Uh, you know, when multiplayer uh, starts growing again. Okay, that's a four-wheel drive car. Let's take a look. As I said, very accurate when you want to get the perfect launch. Uh, seems like it's going to be not too close. Mm, okay. So yeah, sometimes that does happen. Waiting for opponent. Uh, we should still be losing this one, but still. There you go. Let's see what time he ran. Okay, that was actually beatable in one of the previous runs I did, so... Fair enough, so I'm gonna leave it here. Thank you guys for watching, my name is Jerry, and I'll see you in the next episode. Let me know if you want this 1645 team for this thing, and um, that's about it. Take care, and yeah, goodbye.